Hi everyone, Lydia Crowder here with the Build Show Network. And today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my top five tools that I think everyone should have regardless of your experience and things that will help you no matter what size of a job you're doing, go better. So very first, pan and knife for me, of course, hawk and trowel, whatever it is that works better for you. But I can do a complete job with just these three knives and a pan and mud. So I, I did a job for my sister a couple years ago. I flew down, I had a weekend to do a whole room. Uh, all I had was this and it was, it was perfect, worked out great. Um, so, you know, having a variety of knife sizes, I've got a six, an eight and a 10 here. I would even have a 12, but these three always come with me on every single job, regardless of the size. Next would be something to sand with because you're gonna to need to probably sand your tools out occasionally and then also sand the walls. So this is a trim tech sponge. It's nice and squishy. It's kind of got this dual angled action going on here. So these are always a must have. And then a pole sander. This is the trim tech black widow. I like these ones because they have the pad built into the paper and then there's an easy Velcro release so you can change your paper out frequently. And then it also has that padding there to make it better. Now, when it comes to automatic tools or semi-automatic tools, I cannot recommend angle tools enough. So Can-Am has a new Nikkorn line that they just came out with. And these are very affordable. They're like a, a vinyl plastic kind of an angle head. I think they're running about $25 an angle head. So if you are doing something small or you're kind of like looking into getting into some tools, these are a great bargain, uh, really great job. They come in a little case. You can actually get them in a whole kit. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, costs a little bit more money, lasts you a little bit longer, uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve with these though, but that would be an angle head. So this is a North Star angle head. And then angle heads here have blades instead of a flusher, which is a little bit different. So angle heads though will run you about three to $400. So they're much more of an investment and then you also have to do um, regular maintenance, like changing out blades and making sure that you're taking care of the tool. But anything to do with angles is always going to be a win. And then we also have an angle roller here. So this rolls your tape in. And then this is an adjustable Can-Am handle, which is awesome because you can put different things on these heads too. They just have a screw in there. So as long as it screws in, you can use anything on there. Last but not least, we have skimming blades, and these I cannot recommend enough. Um, bad areas, all sorts of areas that need to be floated. If you're removing textures, if you're trying to skim coat walls, we use them on bad areas with new framing. These guys can work in conjunction with all of these too, and they're just like a must have. And then of course, can't forget screwdriver because as much as we all wanna believe all the screws will be set correctly, they normally are not. So as you can tell, the screwdriver gets used a lot, unfortunately, but we always have a screwdriver on site. So, you know, these are really good building blocks to start with if you're looking into getting into drywall and maybe you don't know where to start. Start with a variety of knife sizes, start with a different couple different sanding things, a pole, a sponge, Get yourself some angle tools because it will save you so much time to be able to run tools on angles instead of doing the whole thing by hand. You also get a better finish too. Um, the angle tools are really amazing with how they finish things out for you. And then of course the skimming blade to kind of top everything off and clean up anything that might be a little out of control on the job. So that's my top five must have that come on every single job with me. And that's it for me this week. You can check me out on socials. I'm under Drywall Shorty on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. And I will check you guys next week for a new video on the Build Show Network.